4,700 bags of rice and other non-food items. That was at the serious board uh, in the industrial area. So today at ICD, we are releasing another 40,000 bags, and this is going to targeted areas, those who are most affected. Counties like Kisumu, like Busia, like Tana River, Garissa, that are actually overwhelmed because of the magnitude of uh, the, the, the floods. So as we start this second round of distribution of relief food, we want to assure all families affected in all counties that the national government has set aside sufficient resources and we have enough food to be able to support those families until the situation improves. Our experts are telling us that we will be having these rains with us to the end of May and into June. Therefore, we must continue supporting the affected families and we must continue evacuating those who are near rivers like River Tana, River Nyando, River Nzuya, the Wasonyiro River, as well as Sabwani, so that they move to higher ground. With phase two of the food distribution of those who've been affected by floods kicking off, the biggest task ahead is on how to reach out to Kenyans who may lack food or already lacking food due to the COVID-19 crisis. Massimilanoi, K24, Nairobi.